Okay, welcome everybody to Into Church. Today we're going to be solving the grade 12 pass question um, 2019 one B, and this is an AME GP question. Now the question says in the geometric progression, the third term is 16 and the fifth term is 4. Calculate I, the first term and the common ratio, um, II, the tenth term, and III, the sum to infinity. Now to solve this question, first of all, you need to represent them um, in equation. So um, it says the third term, which is um, AR2 is equal to 16. We're going to call this equation 1. Then it says the fifth term. The fifth term is denoted by AR4, which is equal to 4. And we'll call this equation 2. Now to solve this equation, we're going to say equation 2 divided by equation 1. So this is going to be AR4 divided by a r2 is equal to 4 over 16. So dividing both, uh, dividing the equation, we're going to get r raised to power 2 is equal to, reducing 4 over 16, we'll get 1 over 4. Therefore, r will be square root of 1 over 4. Therefore, our common ratio is equal to, um, that's half. Okay, so um, it says we should find the first term and the common ratio. So to find our a, we'll put r put r in equation 1. So to get our a, we are going to have a times half square is equal to 16. That means a times 1 over 4 is equal to 16. Therefore, a will be, move your 4 to this side to multiply 16. That will be 4 times 16. Therefore, and 4 times 16 is going to give us 64. So our A is equal to 64 and our R is equal to half. Then to find the third term, to find the tenth term, you just need to just apply the equation for it. So the tenth term is going to be tenth term will give us A R 9 and that will be um, our A is 64 times 1 over 2 all raised to power 9. Now, 2 raised to power 9, if you know multiples of 2, it's going to give you 5, 1, 2. So this is 64 times 1 over 5, 1, 2. Now, if you divide this with your calculator, we will employ our calculator to divide it. So this is going to give us 64 divided by 5, 1, 2. So our, f our answer is um, 0 0.125. So the tenth term is going to give us 0 0.125. Then the final question says find the sum to infinity. Now you need to um, know whether your r is greater than 1 or whether 1 is greater than your r. Now for to the sum to infinity, the formula says if, if um, our r if 1 is greater than r, then we're going to apply, this will be our formula a over 1 minus r, which now means it's going to be um, 64 all over 1 minus r is half. So this will be equal to 64 divided by half. And this will give us, um, that's 64 times 2, bringing the 2 up, that will be 128. So this is our final answer. Therefore, the sum to infinity is going to give us 128. Okay, thank you very much for staying with us in this video. If you think this is good for you, please click subscribe um, to get more videos from us. And also, you can share it. You can also like our videos. Thank you very much.